I feel someone has been caught up in their lives. I feel this is someone who is going through a lot of time moments and dealing with some very uncomfortable karma. We have the Ace of Swords here. Someone needs to tell the truth to have a victory. I feel this is someone who needs to acknowledge the truth before they communicate with you to have some type of success in this situation. Someone needs to focus. This is someone who doesn't really understand what they're feeling when it concerns you. This is why they're unable to express what they're feeling, what they're dealing with. And there's a lot of anxiety. I feel this is someone who is having some throat issues or this energy is having some throat chakra energy that has been closed off. This is why they're not speaking. This is why they're at a distance. We also here have the solitude card is coming out in the re in the reverse. This is someone who can't find a state of peace to ground themselves due to their lack of direction. We also have the king of cups in the reverse, letting me know this energy is very emotionally immature. I feel this energy is anxious, anxious wanting to reach out, but they feel like their words can't be clear or won't be clear. And it seems they're still trying to get their energy or their thoughts together. Yeah, like since this energy is lacking, lacking focus, this could be a, a water sign Aquarius energy here. Well, this is air sign. So I definitely feel this is someone who is lacking in structure. Hmm. They can be very cold and ruthless when they're trying to distance themselves from you. But I feel this is someone who is very stubborn, possibly even vain. This is someone whose throat chakra is closed down. So here with the throat chakra in it, energy in the reverse, this is someone who failed to compromise when it comes to telling the truth or being open with you. The communication is off when dealing with this energy or they're just misleading you. This is someone who's very stubborn when it comes to a separation and they could be isolating themselves due to the lack of focus. Someone doesn't want you to know how bad things have really become and I feel like they're just overthinking situations because they're dealing with some very unfamiliar emotions. I feel you have brought out a side of this energy that they never knew was there. I also feel this energy was trying to make a point that was clearly pointless because they only cause disharmony within a lover's situation or a close bond. I feel there's also sudden change for this energy. Aquarius is coming out again. You guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius or Aquarius energy. Please take it how it resonates. But we also have Libra here. Hmm that's keeping a lot of secrets. So someone is definitely being reckless now that things have backfired or things have just been blocked for them. I feel there's no progress because of the, the lies and deceit, the dishonesty. I feel the same way you don't trust them or invest in what they say or do, many of those around them are doing the same, as this energy is still blinded to a very harsh truth. I feel this is someone who betrayed your trust because they were wearing a mask. There is some cheating, cheating energy here of someone who is not loyal. I also feel this energy is avoiding you because of the lies they told, a hidden truth. There's a lot of secrets here. I feel there's a lot of secrets from someone who is not being direct, very misleading because there's a lot of destruction, trauma. Someone who has taken a lot of losses that were not expected. We have Pisces energy as well here. Hmm. Someone is going through bad fortune. I feel there could be some weight gain, weight, weight loss, but there's a lot of problems due to their stress. They're still trying to figure some things out. I feel the harm they caused you was only caused to self. Many of you feel like this energy doesn't even have a heart. This is someone who is at a crossroads and going through a karmic storm. And when it rains, it definitely pours because this energy is going through a cycle of cause and effect. I feel this is someone who is now paying the piper when it comes to their secrets, lies, and deception. But I also feel this is a very dark side to their unhealthy ego that they're now dealing with. Bringing them to a crossroads that they didn't see coming. Someone is definitely at a fork in the road when it comes to evolving because someone is needing to step up and break a cycle, break a curse. Things have backfired in their life and they're trying to figure out why. Where did they go wrong? But I sense the deeper they go, the more they'll understand it was their own beliefs and harsh nature that led them to this point. I feel this disharmony within a love situation is hard for them to truly understand because they know how they hurt you. This is why they're going through a karmic storm. Hmm.
And this is why they're silent. Because they are now reaping what they have sown. For many of you, they're going through the same situation that you went through with them. These are the tower moments, the unexpected tower moments that they're dealing with. Because trust me, this is someone who is truly going through it. I feel this is someone who caused a lot of distractions and destruction when dealing with a close bond. They were blurred to a truth because they lack focus, impulsive focus. Hmm. Causing me to feel this energy only invest or care about the things they want to. This is why someone is going through a storm and possibly losing a lot of things in the process. Hmm. Because they're unaware of their gifts. This is why they're going through pain and grief. I feel this is someone who is confused, feeling like they're stuck in a matrix. But I feel they're resisting something that should have been understood a long time ago. And for some of you, they're stagnated, going through money issues and possibly needing your help. I feel this is someone who made the wrong move and this is why things are crumbling. Someone is possibly with the wrong in environment, wrong partner, losing everything in the process. This is why they're wanting to communicate, but this energy is going, coming out as bullheaded. Someone who is completely stubborn to the connection. As it seems, they're always projecting or rebelling when it comes to communication or affairs of the heart. I feel this is someone who got lost in their own shit. Not listening, not realizing the truth. They took the wrong path. Hmm. They took the wrong path with the chosen one because they took the easy way out or failed to connect. Now they're annoyed because they didn't see the signs. I feel this is someone who thought they had some options here, but I feel these options were just a test, a test that they now realize they failed. This is someone who's getting a reality check and going through a dark night of the soul. Feeling like they're going crazy. This energy feels like they made the wrong move. Now they're sitting in a state of poverty. This could be a lack mindset or someone could have just hit rock bottom. I feel this is someone who is living with others or codependent on others. <clears throat> King of Pentacles here. This energy possibly chose money over love. Either that or this energy chose convenience over heart. Only choosing another situation because it was, it required less of them. But I feel this only caused them to lose opportunities and go through a lot of misfortune. I feel this energy is having money issues, stress issues, weight issues, because they failed to let something go. Release and surrender. This is someone who failed to release or surrender to a situation because they lack focus, always giving in to weaknesses. The world card is in the reverse. This energy feels like the world is on their shoulders when, when it comes to a false environment or even a karmic energy. I feel whatever they're attached to is definitely keeping them in a very low vibrational space. There's a lot of manipulation. There's a lot of temptation and weaknesses when dealing with this situation. I also feel this third party could be trying to purposely keep them weak or confused. Yet this energy has already come to a point where they're regretting their losses or the chances they took. I feel this is someone who is paying a heavy cost for what they have done as well as for what they allowed themselves to become. I feel this is someone who is paying a heavy price. This is someone who is paying a heavy cost for what they have done, as well as for what they allowed themselves to become. As their pain has somehow turned into resentment, now that things aren't the same or even going their way, and they may be holding some things against you because it's just gotten harder without you. This energy is confused to who to blame, but I sense this is someone who should be acknowledging the truth and admitting the fact that they're the ones who played these games. And this is why they're sitting in these results. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is someone who has definitely failed to realize or even accept that their actions is the reason things got to this point. Yet I sense with the world card, in the reverse, there will be no closure, only disappointment with someone who is still sitting in a toxic space. I feel this is someone who is still needing to let something go, and this is why they're in conflict with self, not just 
with self, but I also feel they're in conflict with those around them. As I said before, this is someone who is having major power moments, and they could be drowning in some very uncomfortable karma, karma that they never thought would come their way. And unfortunately, since they never really believed in karma, this is why the punishment and consequences are so harsh. They should have let something go, yet they chose to keep some secrets. Now they're sitting in a space where they're going through bad fortune, fortune and having some type of reality check when it comes to needing you, wanting you, wanting to be attached to you. Because someone is going through a very unhealthy cycle of life where some very harsh lessons need to be learned. Where I feel these tower moments and insecurities or a big moment in their life where it truly brought them to a crossroads. This is someone who's going through a karmic storm hmm. where there is cause and effect, karmic debt, karmic debt that they're needing to deal with. Hmm. They could be leaning on a friend. This energy is trying to lean on others for support. As I said before, this is someone who's really going through it and they're needing to break a cycle. They need to get away and something is about to happen. This is a situation or event that's unfolding in a period of time. This could be in a couple of weeks. Someone's tired of struggling with their secrets. I feel this is someone who is mentally exhausted, trying to lean on others for support, yet they're still struggling. No matter what is said or what is done in the situation, this energy is still finding it hard to get through some things. In fact, they're questioning everything, overthinking things. They're very worried, sitting, sitting in a space of fear. So in so many ways, this energy is sitting in a space of fear because they don't know what's to come. They've lost so much. This energy is fearing what could be lost next. Because even though this energy is struggling and wanting to come your way, reveal something to you when it comes to their betrayal or their secrets, something's backfired and keeping them at a distance. Something is keeping them blocked when it comes to you because they need to ground themselves. This is someone who needs to figure some things out and I feel some very big tower moments are about to come their way that brings a huge amount of struggle, regret, Something is going down in a few weeks. Within the month, someone is about to make some moves that they never thought that they would make. I feel this is someone who's trying to lean on others for support. They're dealing with a toxic environment or a toxic family where many are very judgmental. There's harsh treatment, disagreements, and this is what's pushing them to a crossroads. This is someone who's really going through it, not knowing who to trust. They're also concerned about their food. Someone is doing something to their food or someone is doing something to their property or their money. There's a lot of conversation going on about something here. They're trying to gain some support about a toxic situation or a toxic family. I feel someone's insecurities and codependent co ways are definitely a part of their struggle. Three is a crowd. This energy feels like they don't fit in. Mm. This energy just wants to wake up from this nightmare. They can't sleep. There's a lot of anxiety, negative feelings, emotions that they don't understand. And it's causing them to question everything, even their fears. This is what brings them to some type of resolution or action within a few weeks. Because at this point, they're really struggling, trying to ground themselves when it comes to a breakup or a separation. They're hurt. And I feel they could be trying to numb the pain in various ways. Hmm. This is someone who hmm, hates the fact that they burned a bridge with you. They feel like there is no chance to reconnect after they ignored you. Now they want to talk. They want to talk now. You, They feel like you're just uninterested. As it seems, this energy feels you have too much evidence of someone just wanting something for money or not being true or honest about their feelings. This is someone who is running into a lot of trouble on the defense hmm. and afraid to admit or even acknowledge they miss what they had with you. I feel this is someone who is very defensive, pushing you away because they regard it and now they could be running into trouble. 
someone could have broke the law mm. or they're in trouble when it comes to this toxic environment that they're trying to seek some type of help for I feel this is someone who's going through these delays or this emotional roller coaster because it was necessary as these delays and the fact that they can't admit what they had with you was real is bringing them to an awakening because regardless of how they have chosen to deal with this they always knew you were a gift a gift they were just never prepared to receive or even understand now it seems there's a lot of questions with no answers there's needing to be clarity when dealing with a situation that needs to be resolved there's no closure there's a lot of questions here but there's a lack of answers and this is what's running through their thoughts this is what is running through their mind I feel for many of you this is someone who knows that you are too busy or they feel like your hands are tied when it comes to this situation you could have your own obligations or even your own worries to deal with this is someone who knows you need answers but they're still trying to make it make sense this is someone who is caught all in their thoughts this is someone who is definitely overthinking things when it comes to a twin flame energy a close connection a marriage hmm where they definitely did something unexpected when it comes to affairs of the heart now they're wanting to let it go start over really do this right this time and they could be at a distance right now because to come your way they're going to have to travel to do it I feel hmm, there's someone who's acting innocent in a situation wanting to love from you when they know there's a lot of unsolved situations here things need to be talked about hmm. and they could be hung up on something hung up on the change, changes they know they need to make the help card is here as well this is someone who is needing to do something with their health they're not being healthy whether they're just not showering or they're just doing something that's not helping a situation this is another reason people are talking Someone is definitely dealing with some situations that are connected to money. Someone needs to pay up what they owe. And whether that is due to money or the truth or whatever it may be, someone needs to come out of this defensive mode to come out of this trouble. I feel this is someone who is leaning on people who don't have the answers or even the wisdom to deal with this. But this is someone who is going to have to find out the hard way if they already haven't. I feel someone is regretting the secrets that they told or the secrets they keep, the lies they told. This is someone who should have broke a curse or some type of generational bad habit. Now they're on some type of emotional roller coaster and struggling through it. As it seems, this energy just might be on the defense because they are too afraid to admit what they have with you cannot be replaced. This is where the bad fortune is coming from. Someone feels like they curse themselves. I feel this is someone who made a lot of decisions from a hurt space and now they're dealing with the cause and effect of it. I feel this is someone who needs to release something to find the beauty in the situation, to fix this, to have some type of victory. To have a victory with a twin flame energy. There's lessons to be learned from this situation, and many of you could be tired of trying to tame the beast. This is why there's a, an emotional overflow, but I also feel this overflow of emotion is attached to justice, balance, hmm. an awakening, or reckoning. I feel something is definitely been put in place when it comes to grief or resurrection. Something is about to have some type of closure. Someone is coming to a new perspective. As I said before, this is someone who is dealing with a lot of emotions. This is also your energy as well for some of you. Not everyone. Please take it how it resonates. For many of you, this has been a long time coming. There's a lot of grief and sadness here. Yet I also feel here with the Twin Flame card. This, this just had to be done. As I feel some things needed to happen for some things to be understood or even clear. I feel this is someone who is going through a lot and they want to send some type of message. Mm. 
if this is someone who is trying to find a new way of thinking about something to resurrect something with you they're also trying to deal with their own secrets and sadness i feel this new perspective is coming from this karmic storm or someone is learning some harsh lessons when it comes to who they choose to trust or even invest in as this energy is coming out as the mysterious one who is on a journey this energy is on a journey of a new perspective where they're dealing with their dark side mm. could be in a space where they're listening to music or trying to go deeper or keep themselves busy as they're definitely feeling like a fool Someone feels like a fool for bringing you disappointment or plotting on you, plotting against you, or just simply playing a game. Because this energy was thinking about just so they were very strategic when it comes to you. This energy is coming out as the fool who is put you in a space where things are unknown. This energy is coming out as a mystery as they may be stuck in a loop of betrayal choices. A battle of wits. This is why someone is on a journey. Because of their choices. And those they chose to betray. I feel this is someone who is listening to music. Or there is something heavily reminding them of you. And they're feeling foolish for their actions. They're feeling foolish for the cycles that they put you through. All because of their petty ways. Not being able to express or understand who they are. They broke some promises. And possibly mislead you. I feel this is someone who was going back and forth on a situation here. I feel this energy was going back and forth about who they are or even who they needed to be in this connection. And this is possibly why they ended up breaking their bond with you. I also feel this energy dealt you a bad hand because of their old wounds, their choices, betrayal, or this battle of wits. It was always feeling like a game when dealing with this energy who should have been in the position to build with you. But this energy was trying to act innocence or the innocence was lost because someone cut the cord. Wow, I feel cutting the cord or betraying your trust when it comes to their choices or their decisions. Put them in position to go on this journey where they're going to have to deal with the secrets and the lies and they, that they told because it definitely left a permanent mark. When it comes to something that should have been a fairy tale, I feel someone broke the bond when it comes to something that was definitely supposed to work out. This is connected to a family tree or a close bond or marriage where unseen factors cause something to fall apart. I definitely feel just someone who thought they were going to get away with something strategically when it comes to their toxic behavior or even their choices, but I feel. Them being stuck in a loop is also connected to how they betray, how they betrayed the trust of the family or, or trust that should have been solid from the start. But it always seemed like a game to them as this has always been a battle of wits. This energy trying to outdo you or prove a point that was never been never even proven. I feel this is someone who sent a lot of mixed signals within a situation because of their toxic behaviors. They uprooted themselves. And now something is unspoken. I feel the fact that this energy didn't speak up on something. They didn't reach out. They avoided you, pushed you away. This is why something slipped away. This is why something faded when it comes to you. Now, these unseen factors, these unpredictable tower moments have now put them in a space of regret because things are definitely falling apart or coming apart this energy feels like their life is in shambles things are a mess and they know it this is someone who is coming out as someone who is failing to be loyal as this energy is guarded to a truth guarded to you and even guarded to being their best self and this is why they're needing to go through this karmic storm because going the route that they took only created a losing battle this was a battle they were never supposed to win and this is why someone is guarded trying to figure out something but still not accepting the truth someone is still not accepting the fact that they miss you and i feel missing you is starting to get rougher every day as it seems they're still pretending things are not at its worst without you 
I feel this is someone who is very guarded but still seeking advice because they're starting to be haunted by your absence. Someone who feels like they just need to hear your voice. I feel this is someone who is broken by uplifting or uprooting self and something is brewing. Something is brewing when it comes to this energy. As I said before in this reading, someone is about to have a lot of tower moments due to their secrets and lies. And I feel something is brewing and something's about to happen in a few weeks. Due to a separation, someone is definitely broken. I feel some, for some of you, this energy has a lot of suicidal thoughts of harming self. Hmm. But I feel something unexpected when it comes to this separation is about to lead them on a different path, a new perspective. There's a lot of gossip, there's a lot of talk, there's a lot of people talking about them. And this is what's making them cold as ice. It seems this energy is getting colder and they're exhausted by wearing a mask, trying to pretend that they don't miss home, they don't miss you. But I feel this energy is wishing for things to change but I feel instead of hope and wish this energy needs to do something intentionally if they intend to have you back in their life for some of you you think no way but I feel for many of you they're coming your way regardless as they're tired of trying to pretend that this loss with you isn't affecting them at all when in fact they're truly affected let's get a little bit more energy This is someone who is definitely thinking of things in a different way. They're still not acknowledging the truth of everything because it's too painful. But I do feel this is someone who is remembering, remembering the things you said, the things you did, and how they took things for granted. This energy is now thinking about how all of this came to pass. But I also feel this is someone who is still not dealing with the truth head on. As it seems, the more losses they take, the more affected they become. Now they realize opposites do not attract. Hmm. I feel this is someone who feels like it's just too late. Too late to undo the pain and consequences of what they have done, which only leads them to a great deal of regret, sadness, and disbelief. As it seems, they have to go through all of this just to figure out the truth. I feel this is someone who created a lot of damage in a situation wanting to go solo. Take their time. Hmm. But I feel this is someone who should have just took a closer look. Yet this energy was committed elsewhere. I feel this is someone who was committed to a situation that got them into this mess. It wasn't the whole problem, but it's part of the problem. This energy has a lot of issues that leave them in regret. I feel something ex unexpected is causing them to be exhausted or even cold because someone took a solo path when it comes to a fantasy or something that was clearly a pipe dream. Wow. I feel this is someone who made these choices because they were so amused or consumed with their options or going to new heights. This is someone who just went for it thinking something was worth the risk. Yeah, like since they're starting to realize the same person they took for granted then is the same person they may need now. I feel this is someone who took a lot of chances thinking that they were going to evolve or grow in another direction without the effort of change, dedication, or even focus. Now all they can think about is the things they didn't say and all the chances they chose to take. As they're starting to feel, I'm sorry, just won't be good enough. Hmm. Someone's thinking about the risk they took when they just went for it. This energy was being very impulsive. They thought something was worth the risk. Now they're dealing with a lot of negative forces, energies, or even consequences that had them swept up in their ego, their pride. There's no respect here. There's no foundation. Someone wasn't listening to their gut. They just went with the flow. And now they're starting to realize what they're sitting in and what they're dealing with just wasn't meant to be. I feel this is someone who's sitting in regret, burnt out, and guarded. Someone's guarded because they played a lot of games and told a lot of half truths that brought them to this journey, which is also causing them to realize the games they played. 
I feel this is someone who is on a journey of forgiveness, but they're still dealing with desires and weaknesses. This is a continued search, whether that continued search is to fill the void or this energy is continuing a search when it comes to self, but I also feel they're wanting your forgiveness. There's something very symbolic about the relationship they have with you, but the fact that they went against the odds thinking they couldn't fail is the reason why things had to take a harsh turn. I feel this is someone who regrets going solo because what they were looking at was an illusion, false. It wasn't based on real reality. I also feel this energy just got swept up, caught up into a situation and before they realized something wasn't for them, it was already too late. Now this energy is lurking, feeling like the pain that they are going through was faded. But I feel this is someone who allowed something long term become, to become short term with you. All because of a hidden agenda. This energy just became untamable. I feel this is someone who was dealing with a lot of secrets and this is also attached to an illusion. Hidden agendas, toxic behaviors and this is why they're stuck in a loop. Stuck in limbo. I feel these influences are also toxic. Put them in a space where they were only thinking about self and this is why they ran away. This is why they walked away or avoided you. Thinking that they would be better off or this could be the energy of you being better off. But whatever the case, someone is definitely regretting the fact they allowed others to put a key in their back. Now they're stuck with the consequences of their actions. And they're wanting to just do the unexpected to have another chance. They see you as a lost love. But I feel there is love, love lost because there was no love given. Someone is wanting to reinvent themselves. Someone is wanting to recover something here. And they are wanting to make a gesture. I think this is someone who wants to give a message about a hidden past or some lies that they told about you or even self. And they could be reaching out unexpectedly within a message or a third party. This could also be just in person. Someone's just popping up. I feel this bad fortune is what's bringing them your way. Someone knows that you can help. Someone knows that you are a very strong person to lean on. Someone is wanting to express emotions that have been suppressed for a very long time. And I feel these are just like baby steps. I feel this energy is in the beginning stages of trying to get something right. Yet I feel nothing will move unless they speak up. This is someone who needs to open up or they're wanting you to after abandoning a situation that they're still holding on to. This is someone who knows they disappointed you trying to level up, but I feel this ego is the reason why they didn't listen to their gut. Now they're dealing with negative forces, knowing that they took a risk that wasn't even worth it. Now they're regretting the fact that they just went with the flow. They just went for it. Now there's a deep sense of regret because what they're dealing with just wasn't meant to be. This is why they're learning harsh lessons. This is why they're going through what they're going through. Not because someone has cursed them, but the fact that they have cursed themselves by taking a chance that was not even worth it. Let's get some energy here. Someone is realizing how much you really meant to their life. And I sense they're dealing with a deep sense of regret because they had to go through all of this just to see it. Oh, they're thinking about you in a heavy way, dreaming of you. This is why someone is having sleepless nights. Someone is going through a lot of sleepless nights because when they have their eyes closed or even just in a dream state when they're awake, I feel this is someone who can't stop thinking about you this energy feels like there is no way they can truly move on or get something right without having some type of closure and they're wanting to just take a leap of faith they're just wanting to take a risk and prove how much they truly care how much they really love you someone's feeling like they can't hide it anymore they're tired of exploring or feeling a sense of loss this energy is not wanting to be in this energy anymore 
your license, it won't be as easy as how they got into it to get out of it. Someone's going to have to do way more than just say I'm sorry to get things right with you. I feel this is someone who took a risk. They're dealing with a lot of money issues, bad habits, toxic behaviors. Something or someone around them is very toxic. Keeping them very low vibrational and confused. Confused at who's the problem here. Someone is definitely stroking their ego. But I feel they're going to learn some lessons when it comes to that as well. In fact, this energy is learning a lot of lessons. This energy here is connected to their money issues as well as their bad habits. And I feel this third party is the least of their worries because it's not the only thing keeping them confused or even toxic. This is someone who's confused at what they feel, but they know without a shadow of a doubt that they miss you. And they're tired of the drama. I feel they could be confused about a third party or karmic energy and they're tired of them too. It's just too much drama. It's too much effort. It's too much to go through when dealing with someone who is equally unhinged or unhealed as they are. I feel someone is confused and wanting to come your way, but I feel this is someone who's learning a lot of lessons when it comes to their bad habits. And someone is confused to how things got this way. So I feel in so many ways this is someone who is going through a lot of things because of their confusion in life, the secrets, the lies, the two-faced ways that they are used to. Yet this energy is confused, wanting to communicate, but they feel like it's just going to be too much work. Too much work to get you to listen to them, too much work to even tell the truth. This is why things are lost and they're still sitting in bad habits because they're trying their best to cope with the pain. Someone is trying to cope with the fact that they're the ones who pushed you away or they just walked away. No regrets. Now it seems they're in their feelings, dealing with a lot of deep emotion. As I said before, these are unfamiliar energy, unfamiliar feelings that they're dealing with, causing them to drown in some very uncomfortable karma. Someone is doing some things that are definitely keeping them in a very confused state of mind. There's a lot of grief. This energy deals with the grief by giving into reckless or toxic behaviors. I feel there's also still some secrets. Things that no one knows about this energy and things they just might never admit to. I feel this is someone who's been very reckless, overindulging in sex, money, drugs, alcohol. Please take it how it resonates, but this energy is definitely at a distance when it comes to you. Still wasting time. Valuable time. Where they could be healing. So I feel this energy is contemplating, but also dealing with some regrets. Some regrets that's leading them to a crossroad. Where it seems this energy is wanting to backtrack. But they know that there's too much evidence of what they've done, how they chose to treat you. In so many ways, it's not what they did, it's how they chose to do it because this energy was very two-faced with you. I feel this is someone who is regretting the fact that they were distant, being two-faced, disappointing you and causing stress. I feel this energy is in regret for pretending to be unbothered because now they're trapped and dealing with a deep sense of regret. There's a lot of lessons being learned here when it comes to someone's bad fortune. Bad fortune and problems, stress, because someone is all in their head. All in their head, thinking about the signs. Hmm. The signs they miss when it comes to a separation or a breakup because now someone is dealing with the memories, realizing they should have never broke the bond. They should have never ran the connection now this energy is wanting inner peace after ghosting you and being a player or being creepy weird they're going through a dark night of the soul yet feeling captive or locked up in some type of insecurity needing to surrender um, but still dealing with some very harsh ways i feel for many of you there could be a fake account or uh, drama online someone could be saying some very toxic things about them and they could be watching from a distance but still hiding what they feel this energy is still hiding what they feel and being very secretive about something that I feel they should just talk to you about but this energy is still failing to surrender or even move on because they're still caught in something this is why there is no beginning 
yet they're still thinking about you. This is someone who is sitting in a space where they're having no choice but to contemplate on the fact that they were wearing a mask or they gave in to desires because this energy is now feeling lonely, stuck in a three-way situation where there could have been a soulmate. Someone just gave in to something that wasn't real, something that was just an illusion. Let's get a final deck here for confirmation. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So let's get into a different deck here. I'll sort that out later. This is the final deck. We're just only getting a little bit of confirmation here. So I feel this is someone who is at a crossroads when it comes to their coping mechanisms here. This is someone who is at a distance and learning lessons, but still pretending to be unbothered by the fact that they miss you. I feel there could be a karmic energy here who is also toxic, but leaving them in a dream state. This is why someone can't rest, because all they think about is you. This final energy here. Let's hear it. As I said before, this is someone who's going through a lot of major tower moments they feel tied down yet i feel the more tied down they get the more nostalgic they become because no matter what they do how busy they try to keep themselves they can't stop thinking about you or the distance they have put between the two of you because they are now feeling restricted whether it's due to their own delays or the boundaries that you have set they are now realizing something is not a game there is no fun and games in this I feel this is someone who took a risk, a gamble, stuntman energy of someone who is just moving too slow. This is someone who is very impulsive when it comes to the dangers of life, but when it comes to doing something right and being authentic, this energy is giving turtle energy of someone who has a hard exterior, but still moving slowly when it comes to change, transformation. I feel there's a suitcase of burdens here, a lot of baggage, and this is why this energy is wearing armor. They're on the defense, stoic, not moving really, because this energy is hiding a lot behind the curtains. This energy is incognito, hmm. trying to be discreet about something. So I feel someone is wanting to reach out to you in the worst way. And they're trying to be very discreet about how they come at you. This is why they're thinking about something. This is why they can't sleep. They're trying to come up with a plan. This is someone who's trying to conceal something. They're hiding something behind the scenes. Especially when it comes to their ego, strength, and pride. Things are messy. And they're trying to clean it up. Things are real messy. Now someone's trying to backtrack or have your back or speak highly of you but I feel it's only their karma that's pushing them to it. No one's really believing the lies they chose to, t to tell and this is why they're wanting to take a risk back towards you. They can't sleep, there's insomnia, sleepless nights. I feel this is someone who has sleepless nights because they're trying to calculate everything. They're trying to figure out why they even took you through, the, through this or why they even made this mess because things are only getting worse they're trying to calculate what they have lost because they have gained nothing I feel this is someone who's calculating the web of lies that caused them to be in a sticky situation due to, due to their deception their snake like ways their desires this energy is coming out as reluctant reluctant when it comes to an end an end to a cycle. Things are just a maze because of strategy. Someone is still trying to figure things out. This is someone who thought that they were the mastermind of something and they were going to completely get away with something but things turned into a mess. They're trying to mop it up. This mess is connected to their web of lies, a very sticky situation that has definitely erupted. This is a tower moment. Hmm. When it comes to illusion, competition, someone is like a chameleon. This energy is able to morph themselves into anything. And this is why the sabotage is here. Things went up in smoke. This energy truly thought that they were making the right choices. Trying to 
be whatever they needed to be to get through something, they only caused a lot of foolery, a lot of competition and games due to illusions, hidden feelings and secrets. Now things are erupting due to a tower moment, especially when it comes to their finances or even survival. This is someone who is learning a lot of lessons here, whether that's through third parties, finances, or doing things too much, because something is faded. They were faded to learn. Someone was just faded to learn this way, which is through blood, sweat, and tears. And someone is not going to easily be able to get out of this because something is set in stone. A final decision has already been made. I feel this is a be continued type of situation where someone is still somewhat like a caterpillar. They're still growing. They're still learning, even at this big age. <laughs> I feel like someone is wanting to resurrect something with you. But they're still dealing with a rocky past hmm. influences from their childhood or something like that. But someone is definitely dealing with their immature ways that's truly affecting them. As it seems, everything is coming full circle, where the distance between the two of you is definitely bringing a sense of worry. As this is someone who needs to just do better to be better, instead of moping around and resenting others for their choices or even their issues. Because regardless of their wants and needs, they're still going to have to pay their dues when it comes to the consequences of karma. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading.